I will be using Sugar Plum Fairy Prisma from my Christmas collection, Crystal Clear Acrylic, my Deep Well Ceramic Dappin Dishes, P3 Acrylic, Top Gel Plus, my Carbide Pencil Drill Bit, and Towelettes. Sanitize your hands and your clients' hands with Sanitize, 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 and I am using Berry Cobbler from my Christmas collection. I will be using my 100 Grit Purple Terminator to prep the nail. But first I'm going to score the edge, so this way when I'm filing around the cuticle, it's nice and smooth. File the product flush with the natural nail with your purple terminator. File down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. I file the product on the nail bed down about 50%. This way when I add new product, it doesn't get thick. Now I'm going to etch the nail, putting little scratches in the nail, going with the way the nail grows, and proper etching eliminates 75% of lifting. And I always use a 100 grit purple terminator to do my etching. Now I'm going to push back the cuticle using my trigium stone. Go with the way the nail grows. Make sure there's no skin that's grown up on the nail. If there's any skin on the nail, this will cause lifting. Dust off the nail with a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply non-lifting nail primer. I'm going to dab it before I apply it to the nail so I don't oversaturate the nail. Make sure you don't get any on the cuticle. It will sting. And then wipe it off before you place it back into your bottle so you don't have contamination. And this first coat will dry. This kills the germs on the nail and dries out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer so the primer is wet when I apply my acrylic. This promotes adhesion and eliminates lifting. I will be doing a one ball fill in, so I will be using a medium to large ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, place this ball 1 of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Using my carbide pencil drill bit, I'm going to drill out a diagonal line and bevel out towards the tip. Start your line by making a little notch. So you can place your drill bit in that little notch and makes it easier so your drill bit doesn't slip. And then start working across. Getting a diagonal. You have to apply a little bit of pressure when you're doing this because you don't want your drill to slip. And then once you have your line, then you're going to bevel it out, make it nice and thin. This is where we're going to be adding our Dazzle Rocks Prisma. Get it nice and thin. Now I'm going to dust off the nail and use my long lasting 180 zebra to make the line really sharp. Just set it in that little valley right up next to your, your line there. Go at a diagonal but hold your file straight up and down. You don't want it angled. Then you get a nice straight line. Dust off the nail with your plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Sugar Plum Fairy to the free edge area. This will be a medium to large ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you. 
place this ball onto the free edge and pat it so it's nice and snug up against that line, slightly overlapping. You don't want any space. So when you file, it leaves a really nice crisp line. Then cover the entire free edge. Very easy. Look how pretty that looks already. Now I'm going to encapsulate Sugar Plum Fairy with Crystal Clear Acrylic. Dip your brush in, wipe it away. This is a medium to large ball. Place this ball right at the line, slightly overlapping. This is going to be filed off right here but it just seals it really nice. Cover the entire free edge. Stroke it out. Now I will be using my Long Lasting 180 Zebra, but first I'm going to score the edges. So when I go around the cuticle, it's nice and smooth. I will be filing my nail in five steps and I will be reshaping my almond into a coffin shape. And just by straightening the sides and squaring the tip, it's an easy conversion. So step number one, straight out from the nail groove on the left. Step number two, straight out from the nail groove on the right. Now I'm going to square off the nail. Step number three, hold your file straight up and down. Go back and forth. Get a nice square tip. Step number four, file the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Nice long strokes, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, and you're gonna start seeing your beautiful line coming through as we file off that excess. And go around the cuticle area. We have product, natural nail, cuticle. There's a little road. I'm going to place my file in that little road. Go around my cuticle area. Nice long strokes. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Get it nice and smooth. Flush with the natural nail. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks. You want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. Nice long strokes. Now I'm going to dust off the nail and do some little perfecting, making sure I have a beautiful coffin shape. I'm gonna look at the nail straight on. I'm going to hold my file straight up and down. I'm going to taper it in so it comes straight out. And then do that to the other side. and you're getting your beautiful coffin shape. Now I'm going to buff the nail with my clean finish buffing file, and this buffer is made out of material, so it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. You can use it dry, you can use it with oil, or you can use it with water. Nice long strokes, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, 
Go around the cuticle, get it nice and smooth. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Bevel out towards the tip. Take off the little sharp edges. Now I'm going to use my carbide pencil drill bit to thin out the tip and recreate my C-curve. Hold the finger securely. Have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Top Gel Plus, a super high gloss non-yellowing top gel. My favorite part. I love this. It's like magic. Let me see all the shine and all the dazzle. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip. Oh wow. Cure 30 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Clean off the nail with Clean It. Now I will be applying conditioning cuticle oil and I will be using Berry Cobbler for my Christmas collection. Now you have your revamped pink almond into a holiday ready dazzled up coffin. Tons of dazzle with very little work and you can do this over any color acrylic. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.